Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us see the part one of the same topic. So we'll start, we have already done 6.1 innings and now we'll go for the 6.2. So there, here they are said, express each of the following as a monomial. Means whatever we will solve this part, we'll make it to mono means one. So we'll try to simplify this. So same thing is written over here. So now what are you going to do? So you will simplify here. So two ones are, two twos are. So here is minus, so minus two. Now let us see for A. This is one, this is, again, okay, we have multiplication in between. So you know the rule, A raised to M into A raised to N, that is going to be A raised to M plus N. So this one plus this one, that is going to be A raised to two. Then we'll see for B. Again, for B, what we have here is 1. Nothing means there is a, the exponent is 1 plus this 2. So 1 plus 2, that is going to be 3. And C is alone. So C is just 1. So the answer is minus 2 A square B Q C. Now same here. So this is just a 1, one term. So that is called a monomial. Now here, what will you do? First, we'll look at the coefficient. Minus 5 into 5, that is going to be minus 25. Then we'll look for x. This is 2. The exponent is 2 plus 2. That is going to be 4. Now we will look for this one y. That is 2 plus 2. That is going to be 4. So this is the monomial. Now here we'll look for we have p q. So now let us see for p because this is all multiplication means the exponent is going to get added. So now here p. So this 70. Again here 20. And here 30. So and here is minus. So we have put minus P 70 plus 20 plus 30. Then multiplied by Q 20 plus 70 plus 10. 20 plus 70 plus 10. So what will you write a minus P? So when you add this one, you get 120. And here, when you add this one, you get so this is the answer. This is a monomial. This is only one term. So that is called a monomial. Now here we see here this is multiplication and into zero. So suppose any number is there when you multiply this into this and then is zero means the answer should be zero. So here you don't have to multiply this one. You can just write directly zero because it is again multiplied by zero. So whatever the answer you get this into this. So multiplied by 0 is going to be 0. So now look at here. First what are we going to do? We will take the coefficients together because this is all multiplication. So this is all what you have is taken together. And then we will try to simplify. So 7 ones are 7. 7 are 49. 9 ones are 9 twos are. So now what will you see here? 7 ones are 7. 3 are 21. So now further we cannot do anything. Now let us see for x. We have x over here and we have here x over here. So the here means there is 1, 1 plus 3. We have written here 1 plus 3 because a raised to m into a raised to n that will be a raised to m plus n. Again we will see for y. This is y1. This is again y1. So y1 plus 1. Now we will see for z. This is 1. This is 2. And this is again 1. So 1 plus 2 plus 1. So now what, do, what is remaining here? 2 into 4, that is going to be 8. And denominator is 3. x is to 4. y is to 2. And z is to 4. So this is the answer. This is a monomial. Now here, find the area of the rectangles with the following dimensions. Also evaluate the area of the rectangles when x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 1. So now these are the dimensions given. So area of rectangle means that is going to be length into width. So let us consider this as length because there is no number. So any one we can consider this as length and this as breadth. So this into this one. So what we will do here? We are going to add the uh, multiply the coefficient. Sorry. So that is 24. Then what will you do? This is x and x, that is be 3 plus 2, that is going to be x is to 5. 
then we'll see for y, why this is 1, 1 plus 2, that is going to be 3. So this is the area. But then when we take x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 4, x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 1, we'll just substitute in this one. So what do we get here? In place of x, we are going to put 4 less to 5. And here, 1 less to 5, so 24. When you multiply 4 less to 5 means 4, you are going to multiply 5 times. So you can just multiply and see, we get 1, 0, 2, 5. And 1 is to 5, anything is to here, whenever you have 1, even if it is here 100, that is going to be 1. So we don't have to write here, multiply by 1. That is understood. So when you multiply this into this, that will be 2, 4, 5, 7, 6 square units. Why square units? Because this is a rectangle. Uh, sorry, this is the area of a rectangle. Whenever the area is there and we don't know, so we can always write the square units. So just if it is a perimeter, you just write units. But whenever there is an area, we write here, we write, so we write square units. So now these are the dimensions given. So you will multiply, this is the formula, length into breadth. So you will multiply this into this one. So now let us see the coefficient 5 into 11, that is going to be 55. x1 plus 3, that is going to be x is to 4. Y1 plus 2, that is going to be Y is to 3. So now when we are going to take X is equal to 4 and Y is equal to 1. So here for 55, we will write as it is first. In place of X, we will put here 4 and Y will put here 1. This to 4 here and here this to 3. So 55 will be as it is. 4 is to 4. 4 into 4 into 4 into 4. So that is going to be 256. And 1 cube is going to be 1. So when you multiply this into this, you get 14080, that is square units because it's the area. Again, here the same. We'll write the formula first. This into this one. So now what you can see here, this is 15. We'll take the coefficients first. That will be 15. And this will be divided by 4. If we take this and this, 1 plus 1, that is going to be 2. If we take this and this one, that is going to be cube. So for x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 1. So we will plug in the values over here. So this is going to be 14 by 15 by 4. And here we will put 4 is to 2. And there will be 1 cube. So this will be what? 15 by 4. And this will be 4 is to 2. That will be 16 into 1. So 4 ones are 4 fours are. This will be 60 square units. Now here verify. 48x square y square into 1 by 12 xy is equal to 4x cube y cube for x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 2. So now this is given. So what will you consider now? Because this is verified. So this is the LHS. Now let us take the LHS first. So what we can do? We can simplify this one. That is going to be 4. So this is 4. Now let us see for x. This into this. This will be 2 plus 1, that is going to be 3. Again, this into this. So 2 plus 1, that is going to be 3. Now we are going to substitute because they said x is minus 1 and y is equal to 2. So we will put here in place of this one minus 1 and this is 2. So this will be minus 1 cube. Minus 1 cube means whenever there is a, here is an odd number, means that is al always going to be minus. If this is an even number, it is going to be positive 1. So we'll let us take that minus outside for as it is, this 1 is going to be 1 and this is going to be 1 and this 2 cube means 2 into 2 into 2 that is going to be 8. So now when you multiply this will be minus 32. So left hand side is done. Now we will go for the right hand side. So 4x cube y cube in place of this x we will put minus 1 and this is cube 2 and cube. So now this as I said because this is an odd number, so minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1, that is going to be minus. So this 4 as it is, this is going to be 1, and this will be 8. So this also is minus 32. So we get, what we can see here, LHS and the RHS, both are the same. So we can say LHS is equal to RHS, therefore, this is going to be equal. So that is verified. So now simplify. So this number is given. These are the numbers given. And then we have to evaluate for putting these values of ABC. So now first this is 
I have written the, num the same thing over here. So now we will simplify. So what happens here? This is a. 8 ones are 8 twos are. So now what will you do here? 2 ones are 2 twos are. And now, so first now let us see for a. This is 1 and this is. So what will you do? 3 plus 1 plus 2. That is 3 plus 1 plus 2 for a is done. Now we will see for b. This is 1, this is 1. So 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 plus 1. So that is given over here. Now we'll see for C. This and this one. So 1 and this is also 1. So 1 plus 1. And this is what is remaining in the denominator is true. So this is written over here. So now A is true. This is going to be 6. B is true. Again, this is going to be 4. C is true 2. So divided by 2. So this can be also written as this means here is 1. So 1 by 2 separately. And then A is to 6. B is to 4. And so this is the given here. So now what will you do? We are going to plug in the values. The A, B, C, the values are given. So first same thing is written over here. In place of A, we are going to put minus 1. B will put 1. And C will put minus 2. So here, what will be that? Now see here, this is a uh, even number. So even number means this one is going to be positive. Now again, this is a even number means this one is going to be positive. Again, this is a even number means this 2 is going to be positive, but we are going to multiply 2 times. So that will be 4. So now what will you do? You will simplify 2 ones are, 2 twos are. So this answer is going to be 2. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts. Thank you.